Okay, so as you read in the title of this video, I'll be sharing with you my review for this Fujifilm XS20 just after the intro. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photorabs. I do videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxings, action cams, vlogging kits and so on. If you're interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Fujifilm. I bought this camera myself. So this is my honest opinion about this camera after a few months of using it. I was very excited about it in the beginning and I'm still so far excited about this camera in this video i'm going to tell you why i'm so happy with this camera the pros and the cons of the fujifilm xs20 and if you like this kind of content i highly appreciate if you share this video if you like it and you can be a member and a supporter for less than the price of one coffee per month less than two euros you can support my channel a lot and by the way i have lots of affiliate links in the description below where you can buy photography and videography products with great discounts you can buy you can save some money and you can help my channel a lot and now let's talk about the fujifilm xs20 since i got this camera i made lots of videos about it on my channel you can check them out i tried to cover all the questions that you asked me whether on my Facebook group the Fujifilm XS20 users I'll put the link in the description below or under the videos I made for this camera I even made the comparison between this one and its bigger brother the Fujifilm X-H2S that I'm using now to record this video you can check it out just after this video if you're interested in these two cameras and by the way if you would like to buy any of these cameras or other cameras head to digitphoto.com the link is down below and use the creator code photorabs at the checkout so I've been using this camera since the day I received it after it was released of course and I used it for the personal work as well as for the professional work and I'm very satisfied with the image quality, with the results, with the handling of this camera, with almost everything in it and I decided in this review to make it like a 5 pros and cons so you can see yourself whether this camera is suitable for you and for your needs. Let us start now with the pros of this Fujifilm XS20 and number one on my list is the price. This one is the cheapest of its category yet it has the best quality possible out there. It is cheaper than the Sony a6700 which is an amazing camera by the way but this one is really cheaper. It has this pop-up flash for hybrid shooters, for beginner shooters. It has a better EVF resolution as well as a better LCD resolution. It has the film simulation, so you can have your own recipe. By the way, I made a video where I talk about my favorite recipe. You can check it here or in the description below. And this one has the better power consumption out there. The battery on this camera can stay for about a day without changing it. I never had any issues with the battery life on this camera. They added lots of uh, tweaks to it in order to have this kind of battery consumption and that's really amazing. It is a lightweight camera, 491 grams. It's a very compact camera, the best solution for travelers, for photographers on the go, for content creators on the go. It has a dedicated vlogging mode. It has four custom menus, so you can save your custom menu settings and you can use them directly. You have the EVF, the pop-up flash, a fully articulated and touch screen that's amazing for this camera. I really love it. It has almost everything you need to start your journey in photography and videography. It has great image quality, the same sensor as the Fujifilm X-T4 that I really loved. It has a great processor, the Fujifilm fifth generation of processor. That's why it has the best power consumption out there and the image quality of this camera whether in photography and videography are really great. This camera has the X mount system which I can say it's the best out there because all of the third party manufacturers are making lenses for this camera. I have here Yongnuo, Tamron, I have Viltrox and I have Fujifilm of course and I have Meiki. So I have lots of brands here and I'll be getting a Sigma lens for this Fujifilm very soon on my channel. Make sure to subscribe to ring the bell so you can receive all the notifications about my future posts. And by the way, the Fujifilm lenses are great, but they might be a little bit expensive for you if you are on a budget. And that's why the third party manufacturer lenses are great because they are a little bit cheaper. They offer 
great image quality. I'll be making soon a video about the Tamron 11 to 20 millimeters that I use for vlogs mainly. I'll be making another video for the 27 millimeters f1.2 from Viltrox, the 50 millimeters 1.8 from Yongnuo, and the fully manual lens, the 35 millimeters f0.95 from Makey on the channel. Make sure to subscribe to ring the bell so you can receive all the notifications about my future posts. This Fujifilm XS20 has the new F-Log2 mode which offers you a greater dynamic range when it comes to videography. It's wider than the F-Log, the normal one that we can find on the previous generation of the Fujifilm cameras. And on this one we have the new processor allowing for a better and more accurate autofocus system. And that's amazing, I used it a lot for vlogs, for videography, for professional work, as well as for portrait photography. You can check my Instagram account, I have lots of photos made with this camera. And and soon I'll be making some new photos with this camera and with these lenses just behind. And number five on my pros list is that Fujifilm has improved a lot the built-in microphone on this Fujifilm XS20 because it's dedicated to vloggers mainly, to content creators on the go. So we need to have a built-in microphone that is reliable. It's not the perfect one out there. You can mostly use an external microphone, whether a wired one or a wireless one, but the built-in microphone is not bad at all. I'm very satisfied with it. It's almost comparable to the one that we have on the new Sony cameras dedicated for vloggers and content creators. So that's a big step from Fujifilm. This is the Fujifilm XS20 with the built-in microphone. Let me know once again whether you like the audio coming out from this microphone or not. I think that Fujifilm made lots of effort on the built-in microphone. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And they improved a lot the preamp in this camera so we can plug a microphone to it and have a better preamp inside of this camera in order to have the best audio quality possible out from the external microphone also so that's something that they worked really hard on it and now i'm using an external microphone the rode video mic go 2 with the fujifilm xs20 So let me know what you think about the audio quality. I have the windshield on. So let me know what you think about the audio quality with this Fujifilm XS20 and an external microphone, a shotgun mic on top of the camera. Let me know that in the comment section below as well. And finally, we have a Fujifilm camera that has great autofocus system and great audio capabilities. That's something that I really uh, like on this Fujifilm XS20 and I think that they will include this kind of technology on the preamp and on the built-in microphone to the next generations of Fujifilm camera. And one last amazing thing that I noticed on this Fujifilm XS20 a few days ago when I was shooting and it was really handy for me. You know this red box that shows on the screen when you are recording, it becomes blue when you are recording in slow-mo. I thought in the beginning that this feature is not very important until I had to face it and to work with because I was filming in my home studio and I noticed this blue uh, box around the screen and then I noticed that it's because it was in slow motion because the day before I was shooting in slow motion with this Fujifilm XS20 so I had to dial the settings properly in order to continue my shoot and to continue to record my video because when we are shooting in slow motion we don't have the sound in this Fujifilm XS20 and all the other Fujifilm cameras that's something very important from Fujifilm to give you this feedback whether you are recording in normal frame rates or in slow motion we have the red for the normal frame rate and the blue for the slow motion and that's something that saved me lots of time otherwise I had to record the video and noticed later on that I don't have the sound and to repeat and to record again and that was just a loss of time so thank you Fujifilm for this feature on this camera Voila, here are the five pros that I found on this camera among all the other features that it has. If you found some other interesting features on this camera, feel free to write them in the comment section below. And this video is not a review if I don't mention the cons of this camera. Here are the five cons that I found on this Fujifilm XS20. On a quick note, the background music in this video is from Artlist. Artlist has you covered because they have everything you need, all the assets in only one place. You can download high quality music, you can download sound effects, you can download templates, footages, plugins and so on. Everything royalty free with only one subscription. You can have everything in one place and that's amazing. On this platform you have the AI that can learn the kind of music that you like for your videos and it will always suggest you new music in the same genre. 
And by the way, I'm not sponsored by Artlist, they did not pay me to talk about them, but since I found this platform very interesting, I decided to share it with you. You can use the affiliate link in the description below if you're interested for any annual plan on the Artlist website, and you can get two months for free, and that's amazing. And if you would like to subscribe to the Motion Array annual plan, you can get $50 discount at the checkout. And now let's go back to the video. This camera does not have the 4K 120 frame per second capability like the Sony A6700 and I was really hoping to have this feature in a firmware update because I think it's possible. I don't want to record in 4K 120 for a long amount of time, just a few seconds or minutes that will be more than enough for me to have the rushes that I want in 4K 120 frame per second for great slow motion and I think that Fujifilm will try to avoid the overheating of this camera because it's a small one and does not have a fan but by the way Yulansi made this fan for the Fujifilm cameras or all the other mirrorless cameras in the market it's a cheap one about 40 euros or something like that you can get it i haven't tried it yet i'll be using it very soon on my channel to review it and to talk about it so if you're interested ring the bell so you can receive all the notifications about my future posts number two on my list is that this camera is not weather sealed it's not a big problem for me because i don't go out there to do videos vlogs photos under the rain but if i would like to go one day i have this shell from peak design which is very lightweight very compact you can put it in your backpack and it won't take much place and it's not very expensive you can cover the camera you can protect it or you can go to another brand i can understand that but this camera is not weather sealed so keep that in mind when purchasing a camera this camera has the ibis the in-body image stabilization which is an amazing feature but i feel that it's a bit old Fujifilm can work a little bit harder on the ibis department in order to have a better ibis on their cameras because to be honest it does not feel very stable when we are vlogging outdoors comparing to the Sony ZV E1 for example or the Sony A6700 they have a better IBIS and a better uh, image stabilization even the electronic image stabilization in their cameras and the Sony lineup is better than on the Fuji but now we have it on this one which is something very nice I feel it's better than the one that I had on the Fujifilm X-T4 but it's not as good as the Sony systems this is a stabilization test with the Fujifilm X-S20 IBIS on and electronic stabilization on and let me know what you think also about the stabilization of this Fujifilm X-S20 I have the Tamron 11 to 20 millimeters at 11 millimeters number four on my list is the position of the memory card and the battery of this Fujifilm X-S20 I really don't know why in 2023 we still have the memory card just behind the battery using the same door and for me that's a big problem it's really annoying when I'm doing my home studio videos and using the Fujifilm X-S20 as a B-cam every time I would like to get the memory card out of the camera I have to take the camera out from the mounting system and that's really annoying on the Fujifilm X-H2S the memory card is on the side of the camera it's really independent from the battery and that's something that I really appreciate on the Fujifilm X-H2S but on the Fujifilm X-S20 it's really annoying I wish that they will adjust this one in the next generation of the Fujifilm cameras the last thing that annoyed me on this camera is the position of the mic port it's just near the LCD screen the flippy LCD screen and that's something very bad for me because when I'm vlogging when I'm doing my videos I have always the cable dangling on the side of the camera to the screen side and that's something that I don't like I wish it was inverted with the headphone jack which is on the other side of the camera because I don't use the headphone jack when I'm doing my videos when I'm doing my vlogs especially so it could be inverted with the headphone jack and we can have this problem solved i hope that fujifilm will address this issue in the next generation of this camera voila here are the five pros and cons that i found on this fujifilm xs20 i'm really satisfied with this camera how compact it is how lightweight it is how cheap it is and the image quality coming out from this camera the vlogging mode and all the good things even though we have some cons of course i'm really satisfied so far if you're interested in the fujifilm xs20 i highly recommend you to watch my previous videos about this camera and if you're interested in buying it you can go to digit photo you can use the creator code photorabs at the checkout and you can check my affiliate links i have lots of promo codes about photography and videography products that i've talked about previously on my channel 
for example this Yolanzi fan cooler I have a promo code with Yolanzi you can buy from their website you can save some money and you can help my channel a lot all the links are down below make sure to check them out and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like this video to share it around and see you in another one ciao for now